Now, your Storm Team 2 forecast. Well, not the greatest of days for a Saturday, right? We had some rain for much of the day in especially the southern two thirds of the Miami Valley. And of course, we now have gusty winds. We have falling temperatures. So uh, blustery conditions out there. Take a look at the numbers for today. We topped out at 50 degrees, but that is a bit deceiving. That 50 actually came around 1 o'clock this afternoon and temperatures have been falling ever since. In fact, our current temperature of 38 that is our new low temperature so far for today. That will go even lower as we head throughout the evening hours. And note, we did pick up uh, just under a quarter of an inch of rainfall there at the International Airport. As far as uh, the Doppler radar is concerned right now, not a lot uh, lingering. Uh, just a couple of uh, sprinkles, a few showers there over uh, areas just to the east of the Gem City. Uh, Preble County, a couple of uh, light sprinkles there. Uh, you can see those there just around Eaton and to the south. And then a few sprinkles uh, across our uh, southernmost counties, the Butler, Warren, even Clinton and seeing a couple of sprinkles and a little bit of patchy drizzle, but most of that will move out as we head through the next couple of hours. That area of low pressure and the cold front that brought us all that rain now sliding well off to the east. You can see it moving into uh, eastern Ohio. A couple of showers, even a few thunderstorms uh, right along that cold front. But the main story for us will be what happens on the backside of that area of low pressure, and that's high pressure that will start to slide in, and our winds will shift and come out of the northwest. They already have done that. They'll come out of the north later on tonight, and that will bring some chilly air. We're going to drop into the upper 20s tonight and then into the um, uh, only in the upper 30s tomorrow. So it's going to be a chilly Sunday. Winter does officially arrive at 1038 on Tuesday. That is the winter solstice, right? And by the way, after Tuesday, the sun will start setting later and later. So that's good. We're going to see lots of sunshine starting tomorrow afternoon. We'll see clouds tomorrow morning, but I think uh, sunshine for your Sunday afternoon. And that sunshine will linger all the way through Christmas Eve, which is on Friday. And then as we head into sun, uh, Saturday, uh, the big day, Christmas Day, we're looking at a big warm up. Some of the models right now are forecasting highs in the 60s on Christmas. So it goes without saying we most certainly will not have a white Christmas this year. 38 degrees right now at the International Airport. You can see winds out of the north and northwest at 15 and that does make it feel more like 29 degrees. So if you're going to be heading out this evening, dress for temperatures that feel more like the upper 20s. But right now it's uh, 34, the mid 30s there in Wapakoneta, Minster, right around 40 there in Springboro and Wilmington. As far as future track is concerned, mainly cloudy skies as we head through the evening and even the overnight hours. I think mostly cloudy skies tomorrow morning, but as we head into the afternoon, we'll break out into a little bit of sunshine, but it will be a chilly sun as we see highs only in the upper 30s. But that sun uh, continues on Monday. In fact, we'll see nothing but sunshine on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, even Thursday, mostly sunny and gradually uh, warming up into the 40s, as you'll see on the seven day forecast tonight, dropping down to 29. So cloudy, less breezy and uh, certainly much colder than what we have seen. And then tomorrow, just 37 degrees clouds in the morning, but sun in the afternoon and just a very chilly day there on Sunday. But on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're back into the 40s. How about Christmas Eve on Friday? 54 degrees, very mild and downright balmy, perhaps on Christmas Day. Could see a couple of showers then as well.